Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Thompson and I'm a rheumatologist. Today I'm going to talk about adalimumab for the treatment of inflammatory arthritis. You can visit our website www.rheuminfo.com and print off one of our adalimumab pick the pamphlets to follow along with this video. Adalimumab is also known as Humira. Adalimumab is taken by an injection under the skin just once every two weeks. A nurse can teach you how to give the injections and a friend or family member can also help with your injections. Some people can feel better quite quickly after starting adalimumab, but for others it can take a little longer. Now there are three things you need to do when taking adalimumab. You should discuss these with your doctor. First, adalimumab can make it slightly harder for you to fight off infections. You should stop taking adalimumab if you develop a fever, if you think you have an infection, or if you're given antibiotics to treat an infection. Second, before starting adalimumab, you should have a skin test and chest x-ray to make sure you've never had an infection called tuberculosis before. And finally, you should have occasional blood tests while taking adalimumab. This is important to keep track of your arthritis and make sure your blood counts are okay. Adalimumab can very rarely cause a reaction at the injection site. These usually aren't a big problem. Adalimumab should be stopped before surgery. It can be restarted once things have healed and there's no sign of infection. If you're having surgery, talk to your doctor about when to stop the medication. Adalimumab hasn't been properly studied in pregnancy. Let your doctor know if you're pregnant, planning to get pregnant, or if you're breastfeeding. Patients have very rarely developed conditions of the nervous system and the immune system while taking medications like adalimumab. You should discuss this with your doctor. And finally, medications like adalimumab have been rarely associated with the development of cancer. Let your doctor know if you've had cancer before. If you're taking adalimumab, you should call your doctor if you feel sick and want to stop, if you're concerned about any side effects, or if you've stopped or want to stop the medication for any reason. For adalimumab, there are a few other specific reasons to call your doctor. If you have a fever or think you have an infection, if you're planning surgery, if you're pregnant or planning to get pregnant, if you plan to get any vaccinations, or if you develop a rash. I hope you found this video to be useful. For more information, please refer to our website at www.roominfo.com.